Mitra Merad was a bright and accomplished young woman. Her friends say she paid for her bravery with her life. This is the first time we've heard from a survivor of Mitra's ill-fated boat. Ahmed Nadi, also from Iran, has revealed how Mitra dived into the sea to reach a rescue rope from another boat as their dinghy began to sink in the English Channel. Mitra hey, talash me kard biya zui ab, zui ab bemoone, moj khali bala bud, moon zui ab mikeshud. Punzda dega Mitra bud, punzda dega Mitra ma didim, dad mizad komak mi khast, dastesh bala bud. دیگه وقتی که دست دیگه سیکاری برنمیان همه چشماشون رو بستن همه چشماشون رو بستن UK Coast Guards rescued 19 people from the ill-fated dinghy in August Iranians and Iraqis including a one-year-old child and a five-month-old baby Ahmed says Mitra jumped into the water saying she was able to swim واقعا این دختر دختر شجایی بود کاری کرد که مایی که مرد بودیم نتونستیم بکنیم من به خاطر اون بچه آخرم نجات پیدا کرد میترا had a PhD and studied psychology and science in Thailand. She wanted to get to England to be with her boyfriend. He's now apparently gone into hiding, fearful of the smugglers. Can you show me the photograph of Mitra? Yes. When Mitra disappeared, her family in Iran sent survivors from the boat a photograph of their daughter, trying to establish for certain whether or not she had been on board. I did not have any information regarding this. We spoke to Mitra's father, Mohammadi, in Iran. He had no idea police on both sides of the channel were questioning four people. I have been asked. Mitra's body is believed to have been washed up on the Dutch coast. It's thought she is the first person we know of who's died in the channel. Proof, if it were needed, of just how dangerous the illegal crossing is. Lisa Holland, Sky News.